What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today's Luca Studio uh, episode we will be talking about how to add timestamp in your report. Now Luca Studio is also another good uh, method if you want to share any uh, dashboard visualization uh, instead of using app sheet you may want to uh, if you want to go slightly beyond that Luca Studio is an option and usually there is also a need to have timestamp in your report saying that this is as of today. So this episode will cover on how to actually do that in a, just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's check it out. Okay, so let's just say for an example i have a report so this is my report and i want to add a timestamp here to indicate the freshness of my data displayed in the dashboard so the first thing to do is to add a chart and here you find a variety of charts that you can add within Luca Studio and I want to use the first one which is table and I'll just add it here then you will start to see the uh, sort of fields that you can uh, select to display in the table I'm going to create a custom one which is by adding dimension here and click on add calculated fields so when i click here i will have to give a name so say for example uh current time stem okay and the formula that i'm using is current underscore date time zero eight so this is basically the formula the plus zero eight represents the time zone. So I'm living in Malaysia, very near to Singapore and the likes of it. Therefore, our time zone is plus zero eight. So you can change this number according to your own time zone or relevant time zone. And once you are done, click on apply. And let's just remove other irrelevant uh, columns here and I can just remove the record count and of course uh, we can do the necessary settings such as um, in style we can actually remove the row number which is this which is not needed and we can actually remove the header so we can uncheck the show header option here and of course we can make the border uh, transparent and last but not least just change the label color to something uniform uh, in this report and let's resize the table border here And that should be it. So then you have the name of the report as at that specific time and date. So this could actually give um, a different perspective or aesthetics to your report to indicate the freshness of your report to your audience. And of course, before I forget, every time when you uh, refresh the data here so if i click refresh data it will then take the latest date and, and time to your report so again this is as you are refreshing the data in your report it refreshes the timestamp as well so give this a try today and let me know what else is that you like to see with regards to Lucas Studio.
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this useful. And don't forget to add your comments in the comment section down below. And let me know what else you would like to see in the next video. I'm Aris Azaha. Thank you very much for your time. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.